Hello. Um, this video is all about the human design and this guy called Ra Uru Hu. Uh, I'm sure that wasn't his birth name, in fact, I know it isn't. I've only heard about this a few days ago, um, but it really sort of caught me. I was very interested in checking it all out, seeing its origins and everything else. So this may not be my last video on this, although I have come to the point where I am sceptical and um, wary of this. And I've always been wary of people being put into types. Um, but this is really new and um, different from anything before because it seems to combine a lot of these astrology and Chinese stuff and the chakras and everything else and it's it's really complicated but not too complicated um, it's very simple for anyone to just put in their birth date and um, get a kind of definition of the, the person they are and so that was the first thing I did obviously for me um, and then friends of mine and family and stuff like that and starting to think yeah I can kind of see that and you know sort of making sense here and making sense there but then again you think of things where it doesn't quite make sense and and this is what I'm wary about you know just sort of this thing where everyone can be given the answer to to what they are now look it doesn't say that see that I'm not really sure what they think about the soul and things but so I was seeing it from a point of view yeah that you know you you got your soul and but this this human design thing is just the the part you're playing in in this on this planet and that kind of fits in with my concurrent beliefs you know that but I would say that what you're the part you're playing in this in this life is just the the genetics of the body that you've got compared to the personality of your soul and how they interact and play out so um, yes I've I've come to a skeptical point of view so I guess in this video it will sound skeptical if I'd made this video yesterday I would be going you need to check this out this is so cool and la 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 and yeah I'm a manifesting generator and you might be a projector and stuff like that and it's and you might have a different different thing for your for your soul uh, for your sleep state body and um but 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 all right so let me tell you what I've learned I wanted to find out and by by the way I, I I'll just mention I came by this um this new thing by way of uh, uh a YouTuber activation coaching his name is Kevone Kevone Fair and uh he he was doing some videos on the event that's how I came by him so but I didn't watch his videos about human design until just recently when he uploaded one and then I watched a couple more of his videos and blah 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 and Kevone Fair keeps saying Kevone West for some reason Kevone Fair he was one of the guys I said I felt like he's my wingman he's feeling stuff in his heart he knows he knows, right? He's uh, like Thomas Shampoo. That I feel these are two guys that I've noticed on YouTube who are kind of in communication with God. 
and not Yahweh, but the actual Creator God, and that communication is all through feelings. Feelings, actual strong feelings in the core of your being. Anyway, so um, he was obviously into this a couple of years ago, and and it's working out well for him. So that's 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 fine. That's fine. Um, so um, I was able to ask him, you know, where's this originated from and stuff like that. So then I was able to go to and uh, find out. So I watched a video of this guy Ra Uruhu explaining this eight days of his life when he got um, a lot of this information, had this quite amazing experience. Um, it could be seen as a little bit demonic, the experience he had, but you know, he survived it, it was fine and everything else, and I guess mainly he knows. So it could it could also sound quite a divine experience as well. Um, but you know, you know, I'm skeptical. I mean, it sounds from his from how he was explaining what happened. You know, he was a he was living on Ibiza. I think he still does. He said he was basically you know in an insane period of his life. It just felt like he was insane and. But he was okay with it, he was carrying on. And um, one night he was coming back to his room with the only key and there was a light on inside, he was a bit wary. He walked through the door, his dog was with him, his dog fell down as he walked into the room. Put his dog on the table, then had all these sort of experiences with a blue light and it told him to do things, it was a voice getting him to do things. So that sounds to me very spirit-like. That doesn't sound to me like an encounter with God that I know of. So, so first of all, there we go. Now, is that spirit helpful? You know, was the spirit maybe not helpful? Or is it just a whole load of made-up stuff? But this guy, I've seen him doing talk, I've just watched a video, he's uh, doing a talk in Munich in 1994. So he's been around, he's been around. But so is the Illuminati. <laughs> and yes, I believe that is, if this is not um, divine inspiration, then this would have to be a setup by the most intelligent, influential group on the planet and they've been around for a long time. Um, why why would they do this? What would they gain from this? Well, they could gain control. If they can put everybody into types, get everyone to do the sort of things they might direct them to do, okay, it could make the whole world happy, it could. And I guess as I've only been in for this for a few days, I can't exactly say about that. But I've sort of almost got to the point where, I mean, I, like, I was hungry for this, I suppose I've, you know, I've come to a period through getting information through my meditation I sort of seem to have come sort of some sort of completion. So I'm sitting down to meditate and I haven't really got questions. You've got to have questions, haven't you, to get answers. You have to seek, right? So so this came up and I'm like, oh, like, yeah, you know, I'm <laughs> thirsty, hungry for some knowledge to assimilate and, and figure out. So I have done quite a lot of intense research into this even in just a few days and um, yeah I just I because they got this thing so so the two main aspects are your type so um, depending on how the planets were creating connections with the with they using nine chakras 
and um, whatever sort of shape and connections that makes puts you into a type. <coughs> and there's uh, <coughs> four types, a manifest, a generator, projector and reflector. And there's different amounts of people in each one of those. Then you've got uh, uh, what they call a... Uh, what do they call it? Oh, I, I've forgotten. Another... Oh, profile. Then you've got profile, which is based on the how the um, sun and the earth were at the at the time of your birth and this is a new thing that they've said about is then 88 days before your birth is when your soul jumped into the body and um, you know I like that I assumed it would have been right at the beginning before you know as soon as the cells start dividing is when the soul would come into the body but I quite like the the idea that it was after six months, well, you know, I don't know. I do remember sort of asking my wife when she was pregnant. You know, she could feel like there was a being in her, and she said she couldn't really, but she was that type anyway. But I do remember one of the miscarriages she had had certainly felt a presence. Um, much earlier on in the pregnancy but you know I like that I like the nine chakras and one of the videos that they that uh, is about this says about you know we were once Neanderthals or whatever with five chakras and our life was very much about that and then when we were cave drawing I say we when these beings were cave drawing they have seven chakras and then the the nine chakra being is made, created. And that fits in with my theory of, you know, we've only had, there's there's been this period, this 6,000 years since we've had, say, this nine chakra body. And so, you know, maybe chakras is something I need to look into because I haven't really much and, you know, no wonder because, you know, there doesn't seem to be a certain consensus on and what they are and where they are and everything else. So, you know, there may well be elements of this which is true, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's all true. And in, in a sense, there would bound to be, if it was an Illuminati thing, there would definitely be some elements of it which are truth, even possibly new truths, because they understand the soul recognises truth, so that would be enough to draw you in. So, okay, so some of the biggest things that I'm sceptical about. Number one, the profile. So, there are 12 possible profiles, uh, six of them are pretty rare, there's only a small window in which that profile occurs, and basically there's always a, you can only, um, they can only, you only got the numbers one to six, you have two numbers, between one and six and the second number will always be two after the first number or three but they're the very slim ones so that's that very slim window where obviously the, the, the sun and the earth the whatever moving and that's how it works out so you know they put quite a lot on the profile yet <laughs> yeah it's you know this is this is my biggest skeptical thing is about, you know, who decides that because the earth is there and the sun is there, and then eighty eight days later it's here and here, and that gives you a number, and that says all this about your personality. I just who decides what that is. Um, you know it's. A, it's a very it's a very tempting thing you know we all know with the star signs you can you believe you're that star sign you start then believing your horoscope and it will affect your whole day i stopped reading hor i mean, i used to read the horoscopes in the paper when i was a little boy 
but I found it affected my whole day. And I found that, you know, even if I thought they were going to be right, they wouldn't always be right. Especially, like, if it's something good. <laughs> you know, you notice then, oh, I'm going to have a great day, and then it's a shit day, and like, well, what's all that about? And then I know that if you sort of, you could start reading another horoscope. I mean, I changed my own. I decided, why, sh why should it be my birthday? Why sh it should be my conception day. That's when, because I felt that's when I came into the universe. It's on my conception day. So I started looking at um, Aries instead of Capricorn. And I thought, yeah, this fits me more. <laughs> right? So, you know, you can make it if you want it. And so with this whole thing about, you know, type generator, whatever, manifesting generator, and, and I check out my sons and I start to think about it, and yeah, yeah, you know, that makes sense. And, and the thing is, you can get really detailed in this because there are these gates, these 64 gates. So each chakra has some numbers around it, whatever. And each one of these numbers is a gate, and you can go on the internet, you can find out what each gate means. And I was looking at it, I was looking at the wheel, because like you calculate it from how the planets are going around when the planet moves into a gate. Now they're not in order. It's not like 1 to 64 around in a circle. This all jingled all over the place, and I looked at them, I thought, is it like some sort of mathematical line going like this? No, not at all. It's just, it looks completely random. And I also found out on the internet there's been different ways of sequencing these gates. And that's making me real dubious. Because this is where the manipulation could come in. You know, it's how you sequence those gates. They could have done trial and error with many gates with computerized and then that would have given them a a different it would have it would change everything in the diagram it would it would change everything so there's just so much information it's all come it's, it's all coming out of this guy and he looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi or something I mean, he looks like a decent guy but he admits right from the off <laughs> His video, that he was completely fucking mad. And, you know, in a sense, that puts people's guards down, doesn't it? If he's saying, well, you know, I'm this intelligent genius and I just got all the answers, whatever, but. And then sometimes it does, I think, sometimes I feel like he's reading. But he's got information, he's, he's able to, yeah, he's able to just, I mean, he's obviously been into it for quite a few years, but I am sceptical, I really am. And I, because, right, you got your soul, your soul is unique, so why would why would you need to come into a body that has all these 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 limitations and opportunities in the body why would you need that if your soul is your unique you're already unique so why why be doubly unique and here's another thing right According to, you know, why, why would it have an effect that Jupiter is there when you were born and Mars is there? And come on, I mean, Pluto? Pluto's barely even a planet. How can it have an effect? So what he says is neutrinos, okay? So something like, apparently, um, if, you have, if you weigh all the rocks and all the matter that we know about, you don't even come close to all the matter in the universe. There's there's so much other stuff there. And I buy this. I buy this. And the, the, the majority of stuff is neutrinos being fired out of every star sun. 
and so obviously we get a shed load of neutrinos coming from the sun but we also get a shed load of neutrinos coming from every star and galaxy I, I suppose but and they move at the speed of light and they penetrate everything so they don't slow down that they're always coming and the idea is is that the neutrinos are coming and if Mars is you know in a particular place the neutrinos are coming through Mars and hitting the Earth but all of these stars are pinpricks and unless the planet Mars was lined up directly from the star to then Earth it wouldn't have neutrinos if the star was just slightly off then the neutrinos coming from the star going through Mars wouldn't make it to planet Earth would they? So there you go. I've found a little crack in, I'll say, their plan, right? Their, their way of uh, making this thing logical. Um, you know, what I do like about the planets is that, is that you know, for everyone born, the planets and stuff are going to be in a slightly different place and you know okay there's people being born all the time but they're in different parts of the planet so it's just slightly different but then in you know 30 years time Uranus say has moved round a bit and so the people being born then are going to be born with Uranus in a different place but I don't see that as you know, it might be a time stamp, a time clock, but I don't see it as the be in, the be in, end all of what makes us us. I just don't see that. I, I think God has a plan. You know, I don't think it's random that we're in our life. I, I would put that down to God's master plan and God knowing us and knowing how we're going to play out in this plan. And like I say, I, I'm i glad I, I have achieved sort of um, uh, learning what I've learned up to now before I heard about this. I'm glad I'd never heard about this before because it could have taken me off. could have taken me, if I heard about this a year ago, it could have taken me way off what I was what I did eventually do, which was just getting information from within. And all the clues being in my own life and stuff like that. And you know, if I, you know, if you get told you're a projector and that you don't create energy or something, well, <laughs> you know, that, that's gonna, that's gonna affect you. That's gonna probably be enough that you don't create energy and you know, and you know, hearing hearing Kevin Kevin talking about you know how it makes sense to him, and you know I get like I'm you know saying how sometimes he'd be wiped out and he just doesn't have any energy. Well, <laughs> do you know what I mean? That happens to all of us. And how you know generators shouldn't have a bedtime, or if they want to pig out and eat stuff, they should be able to because they need to generate. Well that can apply to all of us and how a manifester needs to be left to his own devices at times because he just needs to do shit that can apply to all of us you know I sat there listening to it and I think well I've certainly been a projector in my certain time so you know you might be happy with what you get but you're always going to think well I might, might have had a bit of that and a bit of that and maybe one day I'm like that and the next we come, I'm different. I mean, what what I've learnt myself lately is, you know, what's what's great is when I come into contact with another person, like my soul and their soul have a language of vibration, 
and between us there is a, then a vibration of our relationship at that time and you know it's all about love and feeling it you, you don't have to you don't have to get into all of this type stuff to you know you fit yourself into categories there'll never be enough categories you know they shouldn't have 64 gates they should have 640 it shouldn't be just changing every few days it should be changing all the time so I just yeah I'm I'm becoming quite skeptical of this it seems to be a real organic movement and it doesn't seem to be pushy but there's certainly um, money it seems to give you enough information to get you really into it but not enough information to kind of leave you with a complete view of it you know sort of and you you want to watch a six hour audio on something because it's it's going to tell you about this rave sequence in fact they call it rave mandela sequence and and you know it's two hundred dollars so and that's the other thing like it's got some of these words like he's been, he's been talking about the event the event the event and you know now that's coming out on the internet you know the event is the thing like at the moment and there you go it's, it's called this sequence it's the rave Mandela it's got Mandela in it so although it might seem organic they seem to have these words in there that will you know get interest uh, because there's been this interest on the internet and um, yeah I don't know I'm like just sort of guessing stuff at the moment but I am becoming more skeptical and uh, yeah I think I'll I think I'll leave it at that so um, I mean yeah it's interesting but I think if you know for anyone really wanting to understand it you're going to end up wanting to look deeper um, you're going to want to know why the numbers are where they are because it defines everything and um, you probably have to end up paying some money in order to do that which maybe isn't you can't just say that's a bad thing I mean the guy's got to eat but I don't know I'll probably do another video on this or not, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Okay, ciao.